I want to share with you five crazy decisions that I have done or I have been involved in. Five crazy decisions. And the first crazy decision, I was very privileged to be part of the Centum Group in late 2008. And we had just, we just, we had just employed James Moria as the youngest CEO among listed companies in Kenya. And when he was appointed, he came to the office and he called, of us, called all of us in, a, in the boardroom. And he sat at the head chair. And this is how he began the conversation. We are all going to be very rich. We are all going to be? But there was a but but we are going to work very hard. That's how he, that was his first statement. I've never forgotten it. And that launched the center that everybody knows today. At that point in time, when, we, when he joined, rejoined us as a CEO, we were only a six billion company. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money in our world of investment. It was six billion shillings. And he said, we are sitting on a gold mine. And there is no reason, we were renting some space at International House, and there is no reason why we should not be owning our own complexes. I still have that picture vividly in my mind. And with those few words, we began a journey of putting together a very ambitious strategy. And this strategy, we called it the Centum 2.0 strategy. And there are a few decisions that came with Centum 2.0 strategy. The decision number one was, we're going to be a 30 billion company within five years, from six billion. Is that a crazy decision? So the first crazy decision I was very privileged to be part of is to decide, and I remember we were in a boardroom, we were, as we as management were presenting the strategy to the board, and James Moria stood at the front and he said, we are going to be a 30 billion company by 2014, March 31st. And everybody in the room kept quiet because they thought these young guys had gone bonkers. These guys were crazy, isn't it? Thank God for the gray hair in the room. Combined with our youthfulness, we all agreed. Why not? Why? Why not? So, we embarked on a very aggressive journey. The next thing was, then how do we realize these 30 billion shillings? From 6 billion, growing five times within five years. And we made some couple of decisions. Also, them, also those decisions were crazy. Number one, we made a decision to invest outside of Kenya, to invest in Africa. How many of you know the Nabo Capital YouTube channel? Okay. If you visit there, you'll see the, I run a YouTube channel called uh, Invest in Africa. And we made a decision to invest outside of Kenya. And at that point in time, we had only 1% of our portfolio outside of Kenya. 1%. And it was in Uganda. So it was still very much within reach. 